One of the questions I get the most on this channel is, is mining dangerous? Is this gonna cause long-term or even short-term harm to my GPU, my CPU, my PC as a whole? And I have made tutorials in the past on how to use your gaming PC to mine while you're not utilizing it for gaming, streaming, video editing, etc. And those videos are doing phenomenally, by the way, guys. So I'm really glad that they are resonating with you guys and they're actually beneficial and they're continuing to reach new prospective miners that need this information to help them get set up as well. So that's awesome. But today let's talk about if and when damage is gonna occur to your brand new shiny gaming PC if you decide to mine with it. All right, so to answer your guys' question right up front, much like overclocking your PC or throwing a bunch of mods on your car, if you do it incorrectly, yes, it is gonna cause damage. However, if you are tuned correctly, this applies to the car analogy as well, you're gonna be just fine in the long term. Now, it might take a little bit of life off of the back end of your card, a few months or even a few years off of the end of the life cycle of the card however by then you would probably have however by then you probably would have traded it in sold it and upgraded your pc anyway because you might have gone from 10 years of life down to eight or seven and me personally i would rather get heavy strong use out of my pc you know the best gaming performance the best mining performance right up front by doing things like overclocking knowing that i'm probably not going to have the cpu or gpu when those errors occur anyway also, if you properly undervolt and overclock your card, so basically you're reducing the power output to about 65%, or you have good thermals, good uh, ventilation, good intake and exhaust fans in your case, maybe you put on some aftermarket thermal pads and paste onto your graphics card, uh, your, your CPU is water cooled, your GPU is water cooled, whatever hardware you're using is properly cooled, because that's the main thing that's going to cause damage to your PC, is going to be heat, excess heat, especially excess heat over long-term sessions, for example, mining. So that is why a lot of dedicated mining rigs, i.e. Uh, open chassis cases and whatnot, they're not sealed up like a PC case. They're basically open chassis that have a bunch of graphics cards stacked in them. And that way it's getting constant airflow from the ambient temperature of the room. And then also they, a lot of heavy miners, they'll also put fans, like box fans in a room too, to cool them as well. However, you don't need that if you're just casually mining, you have a gaming PC, uh, as long as it has good cooling in the tower, so maybe two or three intake fans and an exhaust fan, you're going to be just fine. There's a helicopter flying overboard. Jojo just escaped from uh, Arkham Asylum again, so let's wait a minute. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. I do have a separate video, which is linked in the description below, which is a full walkthrough tutorial of using MSI Afterburner. This is how you're going to undervolt and overclock your card. When I say undervolt and underclock, you're reducing the power output, which is, again, going to do a couple things. Reduce your heat increase the long-term longevity of your card, and also increase your profitability because you're utilizing less power from the wall socket. And in turn, you know, that's your, your main factor there is your electrical cost. And unless you're solar, then that's not really an issue. And then overclock, depending on the algorithm that you're on, most of them, you're most likely gonna turn down your core clock and increase your memory clock. For example, my personal settings, because I focus on mining Ethereum through the Dagger Hash Moto algorithm, I am negative 300 megahertz on the core clock of my GPU, 3080, and uh, plus 1200 megahertz on the uh, VRAM or the video memory. And my power output's at 65%. And that generally nets me between 90 and 95 mega hash pretty consistently. Sometimes it dips into the high 80s, sometimes it spikes into the hundreds. But generally, when I check on my phone app or on my PC app, I'm uh, right there at about 95. Which as of now, over the last couple months, uh, has consistently been about nine to $10 a day in profit if I were to be mining 24 hours a day, but I don't, I mine about 14 to 16 hours a day because I utilize my PC for gaming, streaming, 4K video editing. It's the workhorse of the YouTube channel. but. Also, when I'm sleeping, when I'm at my day job, when I'm not using my PC, I'm playing the PS5 or Xbox series in that room, uh, then she's, she's mining in here. The next thing you guys need to consider is what's called the silicon lottery. So not all silicone chips are created equal. You and your buddy might both have a 3080 or an i7 CPU and they might not be equal to each other. One might have a longer lifespan and one of them might outperform the other. You might be able to overclock your CPU to 5.1 gigs and your buddy gets up there to 4.9 and it starts, you know, stuttering on him and he starts getting hitches and his benchmarks and he can't reach that, that, uh, that speed. It all comes down to PC parts are not very consistent. It's called the silicon lottery. And if you win it, 
you might have a card that you can mine the titties off of for 10 years and it's still plugging away absolutely fine. For example, my last PC Trooper 7, which you guys have seen all over this channel, it used to be sitting on the desk right there where the R11 is. Uh, I mined with that thing almost daily for two years with a 2060 Super, uh, 2060 Super GPU. No issues whatsoever, that has since been sold. The current owner absolutely loves it, games with it, streams with it, mines with it, has had no problems whatsoever. And also when I did sell it, I gave full disclosure to the buyer, who by the way is a friend of mine, that I had mined with it, had gamed with it. He already knew all that stuff. He had been watching the videos on the channel anyway, so he already knew um, that I slapped her around a little bit. She's gotten, she's been rid hard and put away wet, so to speak, boys. But yeah, that's something to take into consideration uh, is that you might have a uh, above average or below average or dead in the center average GPU or CPU. The next thing is, uh, you want to mine specifically with your GPU. I've been mentioning this a lot in my videos, and I think it's important that I do continue to mention it because somebody might stumble upon this video and not see any of my other ones, but CPU mining is not lucrative. You might make 20 or 30 bucks a month, and that is with a flagship CPU, like a Threadripper from Ryzen, AMD Ryzen, or like an Intel i9 from Intel, which is the flagships uh, for those two companies. And that's not very much at all, considering you can make like 10 bucks a day mining with a 3080 and like 12 or 13 bucks a day with a 3090. Not to mention, while you are G uh, CPU mining, it is very hard to use your PC. You can set it to a percentage, but then you're earning even less. But if you're CPU mining, that's your processor unit. So even just some basic web browsing, it's gonna, it's, your computer's gonna feel like an old family Dell that's been sitting in the basement collecting dust. As where if I'm mining with my GPU, I can still use it. I can watch YouTube videos. Uh, I can do pretty much everything shy of when I wanna play a game because obviously I'm gonna need the graphical focus from my, my GPU. Same thing, video editing. Um, I don't try and video edit in Adobe or anything while I'm mining because obviously the GPU is being used for mining. But basic web browsing, you can do that GPU mining, not so much CPU mining, and it's not even lucrative. So in summary, basically to tie in all these points, bring everything together, no, it is not going to cause harm to your PC. It might take a little bit of the long-term lifespan, but by then you probably won't even have these components. Now, if you do plan on having these until they absolutely crap out, you're the person that buys a car and you've had the same car for 20 years, it's completely paid off, you got an old, uh, you know, 1986 Corolla on the driveway and whatnot, you probably have the same PC you've had forever, and you get one of these brand new shiny graphics cards and you plan on either retiring with it or being buried in your coffin with it. Um, then yes, mining might take a little bit of longevity off the ass end. But if you're somebody like myself and most consumer electronics consumers, consumers of electronics goods, gamers, if you will, that have these GPUs, they're probably going to be using them, maybe overclocking them for gaming to get higher frame rates, uh, maybe overclocking them to get better mi uh, hash rates while mining and lower temperatures. So if you do all these things correctly, which again, I do strongly, strongly advise that you watch the video below, which is how to use MSI Afterburner. And there's one right below that. And that is going to be my personal settings in uh, either MSI or ACC, which is Alienware Control Center, which is an application that comes baked in on Alienware PCs that virtually does the same thing as MSI Afterburner. It allows you to overclock um, your CPU, GPU, and RAM, switch profiles on the fly, even assign them to specific games, so that's cool. Like, you launch a game and you know it runs better with faster RAM or whatever, you can have settings for that, really cool. And you just wanna make sure that you have your settings right, you know, lower your voltage, make sure your temps are good, monitor your temps, and then also um, make sure the, the cooling in your fan, the the cooling with your fans in your case is on point. If you're water cooled, that's not a huge issue. I'd still obviously recommend having intake and exhaust fans, but if you have one of those like uh, Evga water cooled GPUs, you should be good. Or if you manually install a third party water cooling kit on your GPU, you should be good. If you guys do have any questions, drop them in the comments section below, but make sure that you watch some of my recent videos before, just because I do answer a lot of questions that I have covered like within the same week. Like I'd understand if it was a video from like a year ago, you probably aren't gonna go dig that through the archives of my channel, but um, a lot of these questions I have answered probably in like a week or so, and I get asked the same question over and over, and I don't mind a answering them um, at all. I, I just, you can probably find them on my channel prior to asking. If you enjoyed the video and answered this long lingering question that you've had, is my PC gonna catch on fire and burn my house down while mining? Probably not. 
keep a fire extinguisher on deck just in case. But if this did answer your question and it was enjoyable, entertaining, and informative, liking the video helps me to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me to grow my little channel, which I do greatly, greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I do a lot of cryptocurrency tutorials, as well as news in the gaming community and industry, and tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.